don't hate me, okay? I did a video yesterday that was my favourite movie musicals. If you want to see something super positive and all about me loving things, definitely go and watch that. This is going to be a video of me not loving things. I love movie musicals, but sometimes they just shouldn't be made in the way that they have been made. I'm going to start with the big guns. I don't like La La Land. So, the first time I watched La La Land, I actually really, really disliked it. And then I watched it again, and I liked it a little bit more, and then I watched it again. And I think it's something that I can watch now, and I'm just like, what? Whatever. I think it's beautifully filmed. It's stunning. I think Emma Stone and Ryan Gosling have fantastic chemistry. They're great together, but the music for me, I mean, it's written by Patrick and Paul, who I adore. I love their work. I think in La La Land, it's too wishy-washy for me. I don't know if it's the vocals, the arrangements, the actual songs themselves, but I just don't feel any kind of excitement from it. Another Day of Sun. I adore the way it's shot. It's absolutely beautiful, but their voices are like, Da, 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 da. What? Why is it so insipid? I don't know if that's the vibe. I mean, that must be the vibe that they're going for, but there's just no oomph behind any of their voices. And I think, my goodness, come on. Please give me something more. I think it could have been done so much better. I don't know, don't really like it. I could talk for a very, very long time about La La Land because there's a lot of stuff about it that I do like, but on the whole, it's a film that I would miss. Um, the next one is Into the Woods. I love Into the Woods, I think it's a fantastic show, I've seen it live, love Stephen Sondheim, but Into the Woods, the movie version, I mean it's got a great cast, Meryl Streep, hello? Emily Blunt in a musical? I adore Emily Blunt, so literally anything she does is good by me. But I just think there's so much lacking in it, they've taken so much out and they've changed it so much to the way that the actual show is, I feel like it's too literal of a film. I didn't think it worked. <laughs> The next one is Sweeney Todd the musical. Again, I just don't think the, the transferal from stage to screen is very good. I've spoken before about this and I don't really like Helena Bonham Carter's voice as Mrs. Lovett. Again, very, very wishy-washy. Like, I think Mrs. Lovett is brash and loud and like quite harsh. She's just got this very like, oh, my name what? Give me something, girl! I just think it could be so much better. I don't really like Johnny Depp's portrayal of, of Sweeney either. Um, I think the guy who plays Anthony's really good. I think Joanna's very good. But overall, I don't enjoy it. I feel really bad because I'm saying all the big ones. <laughs> I don't want people to hate me. Okay, on to the next one. It's Evita. I love Evita. I saw it on stage with Elena Roger, I think that's how you say her name, at the Adelphi in London, and she was fantastic. I adored her. I thought she was amazing, and I love the music. I love the story, and I think it's a great musical, but the movie is so crap. I don't really like Madonna's voice, and I think that's probably it. I think the main thing with all of these is like, if I don't like the voices, that's a big thing for me. I like a big Broadway sound, you know, big, loud, strong voices. And I feel like in a lot of these movie musicals, they don't do that. And I don't know if they think it's too big for the screen or what, but I feel that I come out thinking that it's a bit flat, energy levels wise. <sighs> And it's the same with the next one, Phantom of the Opera. Again, love the show. Again, don't like the film. Jared Butler, I don't really enjoy as the Phantom. I don't see him as the Phantom in any way. I think Emmy Rossum does a good job with kind of her abilities and stuff, but she isn't Christine. When you compare it to the performances of people like Sierra and the women who play Christine on stage, it's such a huge gap. I just think it could be so much more. Now, the next one is Les Mis and, um, <sighs> There's bits I like about Les Mis. I love the Barricade Boys. I love Aaron Tveit. I really like Eddie Redmayne in it as well. Samantha Box. I mean, Russell Crowe. Can't get on board with that, no thank you. I mean, he can't sing. And I don't really think he does much acting. I think, I feel like he just stands there and just like barks the words at people. I don't think he has any connection to the text whatsoever. I just, I just don't enjoy the film of it. Again, it's very literal. At the beginning of Look Down, they're all literally in the water with the ships. And I don't know if it's just, there's like too much and then not enough all at the same time. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I just don't really like the Les Mis film. Sorry. The next one is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. And I think this is because I never saw it as a child. I know that everybody loves Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, but I didn't see it, so I, I wasn't brought up on it. So it has no kind of emotional connection to me. And when I watch it, I just don't like it. Don't really like the music, the storyline, the characters. It's just not 
not one for me personally. It's not kind of my thing. Another one that I don't like is Jersey Boys. Now I love Jersey Boys on stage and I know it's not a hugely popular show. Um, I feel like it is with a certain age of people but like people my age and, and you guys I think Jersey Boys is a show that is often looked down upon and I do really like it but that being said I think the film is so bland. It's really dark. It's kind of too story based if that makes sense. It feels like the songs are like a second glance. They're not the main thing like it's a film with the Jersey Jersey Boys music, which is sad because I, I love Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons. I love their music, but I just don't love Jersey Boys the film, which is so sad. And then my last least favourite movie musical has to be Mamma Mia 2, and we all know why. Well, we don't all know why. I did a video, kind of like a review of it, and I had to take it down because people were so aggressive to me in the comments about why I was wrong and what a stupid person I was. So that's all I'm gonna, that's how I'm gonna leave it there because I don't want people to be angry at me because I do try to breathe as much positivity into my channel as possible and keep it very positive. You know, I do this because I love theatre and I, that's what I like talking about. So when things turn negative and nasty, I don't want to kind of encourage that. So, um... Yes, that is why. And I hope that nobody's taken anything I've said today to be too offensive or too upsetting. These are all great films, I just don't really like them. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't like them or whatever, just for me personally and my tastes, that's how it goes. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Two things, I'm going to New York next week and I will be there doing a meetup on Monday the 3rd of September at 11 a.m. Um, at the Big Fountain in Central Park. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at amylover underscore for more details about that, like on the day and things. I'm going to New York, so I'm going to be doing vlogs and things. So keep an eye out on my channel for lots of New York content if you're interested in that. I am intending on seeing either nine or ten shows while I'm there. So it's going to be a full week. But anyway, I will see you soon now. What? I'm going to go. Um, I will see you soon. I love you lots. 